Okay, we're going to start out with basic U substitution problems today. So the first one is 3x minus 5 to the 17 dx. And they give us what they want us to substitute for. Um, they say that U is equal to 3x minus 5, this part right here. So they just ask us to evaluate um, when they give us what U is. We don't have to guess. So um, what we're going to do is um, take the derivative of U, which is DU. Um, we're taking the derivative of this part right here. So the derivative of this um, is 3 from 3x, and then 5 as a constant goes away. Um, before we can integrate with U substitution, we always need U and DU. You need both parts before you can plug back in. Um, oh, sorry. We need, um, we need DX. The way that we do this, we take the integral. We always add DX to the end. Um, and then we solve for DX because we're going to want to plug this back in up here. So the way we solve this is just dividing both sides by 3. Um, divide this by 3. Divide this by 3. These cancel, of course. So DX equals DU over 3. Um, so now we can plug in for U and we can plug in for um, DX we're going to basically change all of these x's to u's. So the way that we do that is um, go back to the integral here and we say u to the 17 and then of course dx we solve down here du over 3 so du over 3. So now we can integrate this. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is pull out any constant, because again we're trying to make this as simple as possible. This um, 3 in the denominator here is actually 1 third, so that can come out of the integral. Any constant always can. 1 third u to the 17 du is our integral. Um, and then this, of course, u to the 17 is really easy to integrate. Um, it's so 1 third here. Um, we always draw an open parenthesis. Um, so that we know that the one-third is multiplied by everything that we take the integral of since we pulled it out as a constant. So, um, of course, u add 1 to the exponent, which we always do when integrating, and then divide the coefficient, which it's 1 here, that's implied, um, 1 over the new exponent, 18. So, um, and then of course plus c, um, which we always do um, when integrating add the constant back in. So this is our um, this is our integrated equation and all we have to do is plug back in for u um, what they originally defined it as 3x minus 5. So um, we're going to do 1 third times 1 over 18 here. Um, 18 times 3 is 30, 54 so 1 over 54 um, times the u, 3x minus 5 to the 18, and then plus c. And the reason I didn't um, multiply the 1 third times the c is because c stands for any constant. So the 1 third um, really just falls off the front of that c, and uh, c stands alone. Um, so I only applied the 1 third here to, to the 1 over 18, and um, that's the final answer.